thorough analysis of the origin of species. Lesson 8. The structure of evolutionism, part 1. Today, I treat with the structure of evolutionism, part 1. Man has evolved from a monkey. This is a typical way of thinking of evolutionists. I used to think this is an empty prattle of the street, but it is a remark of a famous philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche. He maintains as follows in his book, also Sprach Zarathustra. Ihr habt den Weg vom Wurme zum Menschen gemacht und vieles ist in euch noch Wurm. Einst wart ihr Affen und auf jetzt now ist der Mensch mehr Affe als irgendein Affe. Though my pronunciation is not good, I believe that you all understand what I read. Translating this into English is as follows. You have followed the way from worm to human. Many things in you are worms as ever. Once you were an ape. Also, currently human is more an ape than any other ape. He is the very man to have said what is taught, that is, God is dead. The Origin of Species was published in 1859, and Friedrich Nietzsche lived from 1844 to 1900. Friedrich Nietzsche must have got a general idea of the evolution just after he read Charles Darwin. If Nietzsche had gone to the heart of the origin of species, he wouldn't say in that manner. His insufficient understanding of the origin of species guided wrongly the public opinion for more than 100 years. There is a monkey in our genealogy was originated from here. The starting point of evolutionist concept traces back to the remote antiquity 1.5 billion years ago. They expanded the concept of the evolution to that extent. The following series summarizes their notions on the evolution. Big Bang, quark, atom, molecule, amino acid, protein, plasma, prokaryote, eukaryote, protist, vertebrate, mammal, homo sapiens. This series is divided roughly into three branches according to academic character. First one, Big Bang, Quark, Atom. This branch is a domain explained with physics. In science, the law is what is identified by experimenters, and the theory is what is not identified. Material point is a point which has mass but doesn't have volume. Mass point is conceptual but is not realistic. In 1945, new particles consisting of atoms were found by high energy experiment and in 1960, the emergence of the superpower accelerator enabled us to identify particles more than 400, including the particles that the lifetime is so short that they exist instantaneously. Physicists treating with this theory 
asserts that temperature of the universe was 1.0 times 10 to the 23rd Kelvin degrees in those days of Big Bang 1.5 billion years ago and those particles were formed in the process of going down to the present average temperature 3 Kelvin degree. In the earlier 19th century, physicists admitting that all particles except electron, photon, and several others consist of a small particle quark, made quark wave mechanics. But modern physicists do not conclude that quark is a fundamental particle. The law of conservation of mass in natural science is an elementary law of nature that nothing comes of nothing. The definition of mass point is theoretical and conceptional, that is, is nothing. But Big Bang, quark, atom, this series is the step that thing comes from nothing. Especially the explanation of the step quark atom requires various laws such as the law of conservation of baryon number, the law of conservation of electron lepton number, the law of conservation of lepton flavor, and the law of conservation of strangeness. The second law of thermodynamics describes the increase of entropy when the spontaneous changes progress favorably in space. The spontaneous establishment of the order means the decrease of entropy. Therefore, the formation of the process caught above deviates from the second law of thermodynamics, which is an unquestionable truth of nature. The evolutionists have to explain scientifically what the driving force of each step is in the process of Big Bang, Quark, Atom. But they don't do that. No, they can't. And they must not omit to give an explanation of the time before Big Bang. But they can't today and here. Shalom.